Let's do it. I'm starting it. All right. Um, okay. There we go. This is the beginning of the end. And it begins. Where's the... There it is. In three. In three. Two. Two. One. One. <laughs> it's a Monday, and we're here to do Monday things. What were you talking about? I don't know. Carter left Carter left for a day and a half and went and did school crap, and so I don't know what we're talking about. I did, in fact, leave for a day and a half. I don't understand, though. Are they all still currently students at this no. university? So my friends... They're graduates. ...who are graduates of this university, um, they basically were going to... They're all art students, so they know all the art professors, and the art professors were like, hey, we need models for these classes so the kids can do like live drawing. Yeah, and r- for the record... Uh, these are. This is U- Utah Valley University. Yes, which U used to be called the VU. What it used to be called it was something else. Uh, it was some dumb. I hated it before. <laughs> it was. It was dumb. But now remember. it's all right. Yeah. Now they actually have some pretty good programs. Yeah, and, they have a. Yeah. They have a great illustration program. Yeah. Um, that used to be. Uh, you had to go to Utah State for good illustration programs back in the day. But now you can go there. Pretty sure Utah State's still per- like really good though. They are good. They're just far away. Yeah. People think it's an agricultural school, and they're right. Agriculture. But. <laughs> I like the way you said that. <laughs> oh, can we talk today about Berserker? Can we talk no, about that? No, we cannot. Why? Because I won't say it. <gasps> I refuse. Anyway, oh, let me finish my story. Okay, uh, finish your story. Basically, I was I went with them to help them out because they were modeling. Uh, they did like live drawing model stuff and then like head painting. Yeah. Um, Paint the heads. So just for like a few hours, we had them or they just like did poses and sat and I helped with poses or like made sure they were fed and watered and not dying. Right. Um. What are, yeah. you, what are you, mom? Suddenly, you're like mom. <laughs> I was their handler. It was good. It was yeah. fun. Me and mom had uh, a night where we were like, you know what? We're gonna watch a movie. We're gonna chill. That's so nice. Nobody's here. The dogs are all just laying around being normal. This is great. The, we had kids over the weekend, but we don't have them now. And uh, you're gone, and and we're just like, well, well, here we are. You just enjoyed being an empty nester for a well, night. Well, and then I got some grumpy news, and then I and I'm not going to talk about it here on the show, but it irritated me and pissed me off, and I was grumpy all night, and I feel bad for your mom. You have to tell me later because I was a piss pot. What? You shouldn't let grumpy news make you grumpy. Two peas. Is why you shouldn't be on the internet ever. What do you mean? I'm on the internet all the time. Oh, you mean like consuming it? No, it wasn't from an internet thing. It was a personal thing, and it pissed me off. No. So it's one of those things. It's fine. But one we, of those we missed you terribly. Terribly. Um, I'm Scott Johnson, and that's Carter Johnson. Hello. And we're a father-daughter duo who makes a show called The Monday Show. We really like came out the you. gate with, with stuff, didn't we? Well, it was a late title card. Yeah. Like they do in video games sometimes. Yeah. Like a, what's it called? Cold Open. I'm pretty sure Stardew Valley does a late title, title card. Doesn't yeah, it? it does. Starts late. Yes, I think because there's a, a whole cutscene before. I've played uh, recently in playing a JRPG action kind of RPG thing yeah. called Grand Blue. Oh, what's it called? I love direct translation names of things. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. <laughs> that sounds right. Yeah, and uh, that game's pretty good. But and anime stuff. And yeah. like JRPGs and stuff are all named like punk bands where it's got like these crazy long silly names. That's true. And and this one took forever to put the title up. So it was like a good, I don't know. I felt like I was two hours into this game before Dang. it showed up. And that can happen in a game. I kind of like when they do that. Yeah. There's something about it that's nice. You know what I like? I like movies that do it at the end. So they never say the name. Oh, I could see. Yeah. And yeah, at the I end they're that. like, bam, there it is. And you're like, yeah, dude. That's the end. Like MCU does. Iron Man will return or whatever. And I don't care about that. I mean, like the title. I feel like um, Coen Brothers do that, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't remember. I don't remember either. Here's what I remember about the Coen Brothers. There will never be. Did you make a fart sound? What was that for? <laughs> that's what you remembered from. Here's what I remember the Coen Brothers. The, fart. Yeah. That's, no. This, yeah. This is what I remember. Or I will never forget about them. I don't think. Someone will argue with me. I don't think they've made a bad movie. They've made. Some of their movies better than other movies they've made, but like I don't think Burn After Reading or the rom com looking thing with George Clooney was were bad movies. People think they're bad. I think they're, they're like automatically a cut above normal filmmakers. And will there ever be a greater brother combo in filmmaking? And the answer is not in my lifetime. Um, if you count uh, the what's it called sisters before they transitioned. Oh yeah, but they're they don't they had the Matrix as their only real hit. Yeah. 
And they did, what else did they do before their transit or before or after? Like the only good thing they ever did was the Matrix. The Matrix sequels were bad. Didn't they do Scott's something else opinion, recently? Scott's opinion. Yeah. I haven't seen the Matrix sequels. They did. Uh, Maybe I saw two. You probably have seen. I, you've seen the air. Do you remember, remember. A, a crazy action scene on a freeway, LA freeway? Do you remember that? No. Okay. Then you I remember seen some two. people had belly buttons. Is that weird? Yeah. <laughs> that's a no. I feel like that's normal. I think they all had belly buttons. No, because the whole thing is if you're plugged into the Matrix, you're not born. You're like no, farmed. That's not how that works. Yeah. No, they're all far- farmed. Yeah, but then there's like people who aren't farmed who are like the special people. That were still have around. Belly buttons. Yeah. I don't think that's true. Or I don't think anyone is, everyone's too young in the current, in the timeline of the Matrix and Matrix 1, everybody would be artificial and in those eggs, I think. I think there's like a, a outcropping. I don't remember this at all. Chat room, bail us out. I don't is remember. This... There's something about Zion. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. It's been a really long time. Just a shout out to Chuck, who's in our chat. He just had uh, surgery. We wish him oh. the best. I don't even know what kind Happy of surgery. surgery. Nobody's told me, so I don't know. Hopefully it's not. I think it's man surgery, it's if you good. know what I'm saying. Like, you know, snippy snip. I don't know. No one's told me, so I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> eye surgery, he says. Is it eye surgery? <laughs> We're just going to assume it's man surgery. I have no idea what it was. But um, uh, also, sorry, but that's not the reason I brought this up. He says, well, what about V for Vendetta? V for Vendetta was produced by them, but not directed. So if we're counting oh. all things you have your names attached to, yes, V for Vendetta was great. I haven't seen it. Unless you're Ronald, not Ronald Moore. Ronald Reagan. Not Roger Moore. Alan Moore, who created it, who hates it. Why? But he hates everything that's been adapted. He's just a cranky old cave-dwelling beard monster <laughs> chode monkey. And right, I love cool. him. He's a genius. I think he's one of the greatest comic writers of <laughs> all time. He just insulted him so badly. But he's so grumpy, dude. All right. Oh, he says he had his man surgery a long time ago. Sorry about that, Chuck. Oh. I mean, I'm not sorry about that. I'm sorry I confused the two. Um, I have also had eye eyes. surgeries. My eyes have both. Been I have also had eye surgery. Surgically altered. What'd you do? I can't remember. I did uh, basically LASIK. It's like a different kind PRK. of LASIK. PRK. PRK, which stands for play. Really, I almost said something inappropriate. <laughs> Why? What? What would you have said? I was gonna say the the. <laughs> PRK? I don't want to know. Do I? I, I don't, I don't want to hear you say, say it. it. Oh, every once in a while, one of my kids will say something. I'll just go, they're my kids. I'm an adult. I know, but it's still, it's just weird. <laughs> like when Taylor dropped the F-bomb that one time. That one time? I didn't see that coming. She was all madder. I don't know what the deal was, but she said it and I went, <laughs> and that time Nick did it. Uh-huh. I went, I went, uh-huh. 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 oh my gosh. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, I had, so what I had was my, have a genetic thing in our family and you may have curbed this by having your surgery. I don't actually know. I don't know how any of Well, you still have your real lens. You have your lenses, actual lenses. Actual lenses. So my, my dad's side of the family, there is a, a, um, for those who haven't heard this story, I'll tell it quick. There's a genetic condition that gives you cataracts earlier in life. Most people will get them if they live long enough. If you're 85 or 90, you're going to get cataracts. And those are the people that usually get Yeah, because your eyes deteriorate at a certain point. Yeah, they start going to crap. And your lenses fog up. It's like everything else. Mm -hmm. But if you have this condition, um, and my sister also has them, but she has, my sister's adopted. Well, they are probably genetic, but not from your genes. Well, that or she, there's a lot of... um, Oh, like malnutrition. Malnutrition issues with her generation of, of, uh, what do you call them? What were they called? Orphan orphan Orphans. (laughs) Orphanarium is from uh, Futurama. Futurama, I know. Correct. I can't think of orphanage. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, so the point is, what was my point? Oh, so my dad had this genetic thing, and so did his dad, and I didn't, nobody told me this. Old people don't talk about their genetic conditions. No, I didn't know this. So at 42 or whatever, I start getting real blurry, and I'm like, what is going on? And it was like rapidly cloudy, right? blurry. Yeah, like white, cloudy. Couldn't, it got to a point where I couldn't see much of anything, and it got worse and worse and worse, and I got worse kind of rapidly. And, I went in and they're like, oh, yeah, you got a big old cataract. I'm like, I'm not old enough for that. And he's like, no, no, it doesn't matter. You, you got this thing and it's not that uncommon, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And plus, we do a million of these guys like I've done 10,000 of these surgeries and I've only had one go bad and it wasn't even my fault. And I said, what did you mean? This is Dr. Mifflin. Did he do you as well? Mm-hmm. Okay. We have the same doctor. So Mifflin says, um, I've done like 10,000 of these. And I said, well, what one screwed up? Says it was an 88-year-old woman who came in. 
We successfully did the surgery. And a week later, she fell down some stairs and died. Which doesn't, isn't it doesn't a non-successful count. surgery. Exactly. Just, I thought It that didn't was a, last very long. It was successful for the week. I thought it was a weird thing to bring up. Yeah, he's funny. Uh, but then I, yeah. I had terrible eyesight. Um, and so I got PRK. Yeah, Carter was born with... Just garbage eyes. Potato eyes. Like potato me. eyes. I, I had... I don't know if this means anything. To, like, people with glasses will get it. But I had a negative eight and a half um, prescription. Yeah. In both eyes. Negative eight and a half. I don't know what that is. Is that a lot? Is that a lot? That's really... Uh, negative 10 is legally blind. Oh, my gosh. So I was, I was getting there. You were point two from... Imagine what our lives would be like in the 1800s. I would be... I'd just be blind. I'd be on a porch with white eyes going... All right, let me tell you about that. I wouldn't go if on them hills. If you were still alive. Whatever, Honestly, if I was even alive. all the stories you've told, you would not be alive. I wouldn't be alive. All the, I wouldn't have lived I wouldn't my, have lived either. My appendicitis would have killed me. Oh, yeah. That thing burst and I got almost got sepsis. It was bad. But in a different time, I'm dead. I'm I'm in yeah, some straw bed with a lady. I going, don't exist. Oh, he's got a form of the consumption. We need to soak his feet in like <laughs> uh, uh, chicken boogers or whatever. That Nothing worked chicken back boogers. then. Do you think bo- chickens have boogers? I think Is they... Is that a thing they can get? That's a good question. I mean, their beak is a mucus-y. nose. Is their beak yeah, a but nose? there's probably like some kind of because they breathe, so there's holes. Wait, 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 wait. Chickens breathe. So they have to have some kind of mucus in there. Do they breathe? <laughs> Did you just ask me if chickens breathe? Well, wait a minute. <laughs> they have lungs and everything. Yes. I don't know why I didn't know that. They, why wouldn't they? Of course they're they in would. the air. <laughs> well, no, they don't. You don't have to be in the what air. What would to have breathe. be happening? Yeah, but you put a fish in the air, he stops breathing. Yeah, but. Okay. You see what I'm saying? It's not that crazy of a I question. Guess. It's not that crazy. <laughs> no, it's, it is. It is crazy. <laughs> Adam, the uh, heart mother in the chat says, chickens with avian flu get runny noses. <laughs> yeah, of course they have lungs. Duh. I don't know why it's so I don't. Bad. That was an insane question. I don't think of birds having breathing. It's like how... Um, is that weird? When we were kids, Taylor could not... I like For some reason, was convinced that mammals and animals were different things. Manimals? Manimal. Oh. Uh. That was a TV show when I was a kid. I'm sure it was. <laughs> so hold on. You guys didn't know there was a difference between mammals. No, Taylor didn't know there was oh, a difference. Oh, Taylor between. didn't. She, I was like, Taylor, mammals are animals. And she's like, no, no, no. There's mammals and then there's animals. Like she just couldn't seem to comprehend. Was this while she was going to Westlake High School? No, it was okay. before that. We were Cause children. Because there's a big joke in our house that if you went to Westlake, <laughs> it was this new school out in the middle of nowhere at the time. Now it's way populated. It, I mean, people probably know Lehigh high school that's where they the roller mills is where they filmed footloose footloose that's footloose. right footloose is now 41 years old hear that yep it's steeb okay so apologies uh, can you really <laughs> i is don't it know that loud can they hear it i think they can hear it um and it's totally fine he's in there doing really cool stuff for me he's making me a bathroom i'm not going to complain because i get to go poo in there you know I will take a shower super, in there if I It's going to be disgusting. Oh, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be the worst bathroom. Oh, no. give me the right tools. I'll keep it clean. <laughs> that was perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, apologies for that. Uh, little little we can do. It's a fun little extra part. I thought about the pushing the show, David. I didn't want to do that. I like keeping it on Mondays. It's called the Damn it's Monday Show. It's better to be the Damn Monday Show. Um, okay. You went to this art thing. We got to get back to that. Carter goes oh my to gosh, this. We've we've traveled so far from you, that. You went to the university. University. The university. And <laughs> at the university, you um. By the way, so your friends were modeling in it. Why weren't you modeling? Uh, because I don't know this professor, and oh, so. But man, there's there's money involved. Yeah, they get paid for it. How much? I think it, uh, they were saying like twenty one an hour for one thing, and then seventeen for the other. Oh, weird. When I was in college, they were they were charging twenty five, but they were naked. Oh yeah, nude nude get way more money. How much more now? I don't know. What's I inflation on the nude? I didn't see. I just know because they got they did the clothed. Mm. So they got twenty one for clothes. Because what? <laughs> so when I was um, uh, when I went, it everybody thought, oh, it's going to be just this parade of just beautiful young oh, no. ladies. I did the same thing. Nope. It's not that at I all. I thought it, it would be like you know buff people. People nope. who are, you know, nope. good, pretty good looking. Because I feel like when you're nude in front of a bunch of people, you have to like be you pretty need confident. Confidence. You need to feel like no, you it can, was yeah. a lot oh. of old dudes, yeah, with their wangs out, yeah, wrinkly, yeah. But you know what? I really liked that because oh yeah, no, you learned a lot. There's something about a angly, 
rickety old frame of a man. Someone who it's a very interesting. It's fun to draw. Yeah, it's actually interesting. And I subject. think I feel like I learned more, and I also was less distracted. And there's a whole other story I could tell, but I won't. Okay. Because I don't tell the story when my freaking daughter's around. But something happened at one of these life drawing courses that I will never forget. Oh. Did you get slapped in the face with something? No, I didn't. <laughs> That's worse than what I was going to say. I don't, then you can tell it. Slapped in the face. <laughs> I don't know. That's, it was so cryptic. Uh, but yeah, there's something about old dudes that uh, really worked. And old women. <laughs> and old women. Nothing wrong with the women. Um, by the way, we, we have somebody in the chat who already doesn't realize you've already done this, but they would like to recommend. They sent us a quick text. Uh, says, Carter, if you want something some good animation for adults, seek thee the Blue-Eyed Samurai on Netflix. You've already seen it. I love the Blue... I don't think we've talked about it on the show. I love that. It's amazing. I, lo- I watched it. Gorgeous. I loved it. Yeah, it was real good. Beautiful. The The Japanese cover of For Whom the Bell Tolls is one of my favorite things ever. Oh, the Bell Tolls. Yeah, that was good. Except it's in Japanese and I don't know what they're saying. Except I do because Except I know the Except you do because you know version. the song. Yeah. Um, why, why did Steam open? Sorry. Good question. I don't, I don't know what happened here. Let's get out of that. Uh oh, I know why. Duh. Close. All right. Uh <laughs> anyway, uh yeah, she's seen it. I've seen it. Uh it's amazing. It's, it's so it's so good. I'll tell I'm you so the first time the I heard season. about it was I got a text from Liam O'Brien and finished like, it. No, I did. I finished. I went and finished. What happened? I'm not gonna say it's a spoiler on the Give show. Give me some like sign language. <laughs> I'll do it after. I'll tell okay, you after. Okay, okay, okay. But anyway, I, I get a text at like eleven thirty at night from Liam O'Brien. Yeah. And he goes, dude. You have to watch Blue Eyed Samurai. And at the time, I didn't know what it was. Yeah. And he goes, "It's next level. You have to. You have to do it. You have to do it's it." And he so just rode me until I did it. There's a lot of boobs, though. There and, are many and boobs. penises. Yeah, but none of them are attractively. No, it's all hideous. Yeah. It's all gross. Yeah. But like in a very human way, I actually really like how they handled nudity. In the Blue Eyed Samurai. Yeah, it felt not sexualized but rather like right. just kind of right here's this people just, here it is that's what they look like it's feudal japan yeah or there's some ish something uh, about that i think it's Edo period is it Edo? Edo, Edo of japan that's a place remember. i used to get there's a certain time when they had the checkpoints <laughs> i used and to I get can't beef and broccoli from Edo of japan for real that's a place i used to go mm. and they had great or Edo beef and period Edo period might be Edo. is it Edo? Edo. i don't know it's whenever they had checkpoints in duke leto Duke it all comes back Ellington. to Dune for me. Anyway, uh, so but so what'd you do? Just stand there, watch people draw. <laughs> so I or you uh, didn't you didn't participate or I did I drew um for the for the live why can't I think of the word? The live life drawing. Life drawing, my gosh. Good hell. Good heavens. <laughs> uh <laughs> what? <laughs> for the life drawing, I I also participated. I drew a bunch, but the head painting, obviously I couldn't because they had like oils and junk and couldn't do that. So I just kind of watched people paint and yeah. took pictures of people's paintings for my friends so they could see them. Yeah. And they and you and that you enjoyed and judged that. people. Ooh, Ooh. Judgment. <laughs> so usually guys when you get when you guys get together, you binge some anime everyone wants to see or you Oh, do you want to know what we watched last night? What'd you say? It gave me weird dreams all night long. What? Uh that new documentary on HBO Max. Um about uh, all the Nickelodeon kids. Oh um, yeah, we talked. We're uh, Nicole's recommending it this Wednesday. Yeah, we TMS. watched the first two episodes, I think, and yeah. then I had the weirdest dreams all night. It sounds really rough. It's real rough. It's not. It's actually really well handled, though. Because you guys are like, it's kind of cool. You're on the tail cool end of in, like, the kids. A sad way. You're you're on the tail end of the kids who kind of grew up with Nickelodeon, but not the full blast of Nickelodeon. No, not the '90s, but the early 2000s yeah. for sure. Like the, well, the Drake Bell. Drake and Josh, Drake thing, and Josh, that whole all that Carly live action crap. Like, yeah, yeah. So I you were around. We didn't for really that. watch it. I was way more a cartoon kid. Yeah, for me, Nickelodeon was was uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob, and before that, um, uh, the cat and the dog. What's wrong with me? Oh, cat dog. No, although that too. Oh, Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy. Geez, Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> the cat uh, and the dog. <laughs> uh, Rocco's Modern Life, I like that, that era. That, Cow and Chicken. I always forget that Re- uh, Stimpy is a cat. <laughs> I don't know why. He looks like a little fat dog. Well, he's neither of them. I mean, Ren looks like a, a dirty yeah, rat. He's supposed to be like a hairless chihuahua yeah, stress he looks ball. Terrible. You yeah. know? And then that guy turned out to be a, t- a turd, turd, a creator. Yeah. Oh, what a bummer. Everyone's a butt. Yeah. It's all butts. I don't like the butts. Um, unless no, you're sir, life I don't dra- like it. If you're life drawing, then a butt's just fine. <laughs> 
Uh, hey Arnold, that was a thing. Angry Beavers. Oh, I loved oh, Angry I Beavers. Oh, I loved Angry Beavers. Angry Beavers was so good. Chad, do you have any other favorites? What was the one with the... Oh, Invader Zim was amazing. Was Cow and Chicken on Nickelodeon? Cow and Chicken, I think. Oh, Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco's Modern Life, Fantastic. which I already mentioned. You did? I did. Right before Cow and Chicken. Oh, I was right on airline. <laughs> Angry Beavers was amazing. What was the one? What was the one with? Uh, oh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. You guys were way <gasps> I into loved that. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I don't think we liked Rugrats that much. Um, bam, 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 I liked uh, bam, Rugrats. Bam, 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 I was bam, kind bam. of at the end of that oh, age group. Cow and Chicken was Cartoon Network. Sorry, update. Oh, okay. Yeah. I feel like no Ed, Ed, and Eddie's also Cartoon Network. Where was Cat Dog? Cat Dog was Nickelodeon, I think. Maybe that's what I was thinking. I don't of. remember. But Doug started on Nickelodeon. I never watched Doug. Wild Thornberries. That was fun. I love Wild Thornberries. Yeah. These are all good. And to hear that there was some, you know, crap going on behind the gross. scenes. It's just like everything else. If we can, all your, everyone's gross. Don't have heroes. Everyone sucks. Although that some of those cartoons serious. are great. Anyway. Uh, well, that's fun. I'm glad you you made it. You're back home. You didn't have to work today. It was really nice. You took it off. Break. Carter has more comp time than anyone I've ever met. I don't know. I don't take days that. off. I guess that's why. I'm, but then you do. So I don't know where it keeps coming from. Do they give you one comp day for every regular day? No. Attended? I oh. just have worked a lot many years. And also during COVID, I didn't. I just worked. I didn't take anything off for like two years. So, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. I forgot about all that period. Nobody took time off. No. Is that was, a problem? They have a glut and now they have to pay it out or have to worry about it? I think it for some companies, it just goes away. For me, it didn't. Because mm. I don't know how they do it. It's all red tape garbage. All right. Other side note here. Side note. Carter uh, started playing Stardew Valley. Now, you might say yes. to yourself, that's an old video game. It sure is. It came out in 2016. But it had a large update. It did. 1.6. And it's huge. I've um, never played it. Never did. She Until never played now. it. I did. I bought it back it, then. I bought it three times now on phone, oh, Switch, wow. PC. I did not know that. It's embarrassing how many I, times I bought it. I just, I never played it and it wasn't just, it wasn't for any reason other than I just didn't ever pick it up. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I don't it, know. It's it, good. It's good. Uh, it is good, right? It's really good. I'm very much enjoying yeah. it. It's really addictive. It's the, it scratches your, your, your animal crossing itches mm -hmm. and your, uh, your, uh, but it's hu uh, huge. And I obviously haven't played before this update, but according to my friends, like there's also so much new stuff. Yeah, there's tons of new stuff. And you can drink mayonnaise. You can, in fact. You know what's Have fun? Have you done that? No, but no. I've seen clips. And if you drink mayonnaise in front of the villager people, oof, oof. they get upset. <laughs> Good. That should make them upset. They're like, why? What is wrong with you? That 100% should make you sick and annoyed and not want to be around the person who drinks a milkshake made primarily of mayonnaise. I think that we should get a mayonnaise jar. Clean it fully. Do you say mayonnaise or mayonnaise? Mayonnaise. Did we train? Did we train you to say? I don't. Is know. it us? Is it our fault? Because mayonnaise problem, is correct. You? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is not right. But mom, Kim's mom used to say mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is insane. Y'all gonna put some mayonnaise on that bread? Get them mayonnaise. <laughs> she did. She had all kinds she of. She did little... not have that accent, but she did. Her not, mom. Not that accent. It was pretty. It was pretty down. Y'all Y'all ate all my bacon. I mean, she talked like that. No, she did not. Yeah, she did. I knew Dad, the woman. I knew the woman. I know the woman. No, you didn't. She died like when you were three. Oh, Mama? Yeah, no, not ma not Mima. You, I thought you were saying Mima. No, Mama. Mom's mom. I didn't mom. know Mama. No, wait, that's wrong. Mom's grandmother. Mom's that's why grandmother. It's, that's why I confused yes, you. My mom's grandma. Yeah, she was very Southern. I was confused. This is the woman that used to go outside and shoot. Birds, bird, what kind crows, of crows, out crows of her out of her thing. Tree. But what if one of those crows got up on her and went, "Hola, <laughs> hola"? Would you freak out? I'd go, "Ah, <laughs> shoot it!" Now I'm gonna kill the whole nest. Pew, pew, pew. She'd say. Anyway, what I was gonna Sounds say like was, oh, woman. so you're playing this and uh, you finally I'm discovered the magic that is. Uh, uh, yep. Is finally. That. Yeah. It's taking a minute. I mean, that's cool though. That pleases me because that's a great game. I'm a little surprised you didn't play it before Taylor did. Why don't, don't you feel just, pressure from your sister to come and, didn't. you know, FOMO yourself into the... Because I don't get FOMO. I don't either. I don't know what I was playing in 2016, but it was not that. Do you guys know people with FOMO? Because let me tell you something. We have the opposite. Carter and I have the exact, whatever the opposite is. And some people think it's JOMO, the joy of missing out. The I don't drug even... of canceling plans. Oh, man. <laughs> There's nothing like it, dude. It really is. Like when you're like, someone's like, oh, Saturday, we're all doing this thing and it's this huge deal and you got to be there on time. Blah, blah, blah. And then somebody says, oh, it got canceled. It's like, 
Oh, oh like Nirvana. I can do 12 things I want to do instead. Or I could just like do absolutely nothing instead. I took a nap with your dog today. She's a good nap dog. Yeah. She She's laid a great on, nap she dog. Laid on, she climbed up on top of me, climbed. put her head on my her head on my neck and went. Mm. Oh, her like when she finally relaxes, it's so cute. She's the cutest dog She's on the, the planet. Cutest. She's pretty great. She's 75 pounds worth of bones. How old is she now in dog years? Uh Ripley is almost Ripley's, I got her in 2020. Her namesake's age. She was born in 2020, so four. Four so years. So it's four times seven. 27? 20, She's 27? She's still kind of no, brat. No, 27's not right. Is it? 37? I don't. Dude, it's all crap the I way we do, do that. I can't do math. And we all, it's dumb the way we do it. <laughs> Regardless. Uh, here's a text from... Uh, She's just we. Who's this from? Matt in New York City. New York City, get a rope. You won't know New that reference. New York City. Do you know that joke or nope. that thing? Nope. There was this old commercial for um, paste picante sauce. I don't even and know it, what paste picante sauce is. Yes, you is. do. You've had it. It's in the fridge now, I think. It's just paste like a, it's, it's kind of shaped like a skirt. What is a picante? It's like salsa. Oh. But it says picante sauce on it. But it's a salt. It's just salsa. Okay. Put chips in it. You've seen it, you I guarantee it. You put chips in it. Anyway, it's a bunch of cowboys, and they're all sitting around while the guy who cooks for them is going... Uh, when somebody goes, where's the paste picante sauce? And he goes, ah, sorry, we're all out. We had to use this stuff. Where's that from? New Jersey. And they go, New Jersey? Get a rope. And then that's the whole, you know, you're going to kill the guy because yeah, he yeah. didn't use it. Because New Jersey. But then this, what's funny is it changed because New Jersey got mad. And they were already having a hard time. Yeah, no one likes New Jersey. They have so much problems. It's still a problem. Like PR. It's still an issue, right? It's People really hear bad. Jersey, they just go. Pfft. It's like, Ew. So now, even though there's... What's a wonderful place? There's nothing wrong with Jersey. I'm sure it's fine. I think it's just kind of this long-standing joke that's gotten a little out of control. It's gotten out of control. So they demanded it change. They did. And they changed it to New York City. So that same ad has the guy... Just say His New York lips City. say New Jersey. They but over it? They dub it over. That's he goes, fantastic. New York City over this New Jersey, which is only New Jersey. Three syllables. Yeah. That's even better. Oh, it was that great. makes it so much better. And that way, nobody cared because New York is too big to fail. Yeah, no one cares about that. Yeah, yeah nobody's going to No one's like, oh my that. gosh, how could you? Yeah. So those that was a weird time. And you can find both versions of this out there. There's also a version of a Carl's Jr. ad that was way too sexual. And they changed it. And I noticed. And no one said anything. It was just a showed up new commercial. I, I noticed. Went, mm, I see what you did sure there. You didn't dream it. Nope. Oh, I'm positive. <laughs> it really hit me because at the time I was like, "Oh, that's what we do when we get criticized. We just secretly change things and hope nobody sees." I don't know. I had a weird. Oh, it's like that. Weird attitude. Did you see uh, in the Super Bowl the mid mid thing of the Super Bowl? What's it called? Are you going to call halfway it? show? Oh my gosh, you're going to call it the halfway show? Halfway show. show. What's it called? It's called the halftime show. Halftime show. Halftime my... of a sports event like football is a thing. Halftime. My brain isn't working. The halfway show. The halfway show with Scott and Carter. <laughs> uh, the point is, <laughs> what's her name? Alicia Keys sang a sour note at the beginning of her performance. Yeah, and then they fixed Live, it. Live, but they the fixed repeat. it on everything else. And yeah. so everyone's like, oh, they're Mandela affecting us. You like, know why? In, in right now. Do you know why? Why? Because that's a great example of this, actually. That is what I'm... This is exactly it. Back in my day, it was commercials or whatever. But in this case, it was a quick change on her weird note. Yeah. And I think it's because Apple sponsored the mid... Uh, now you're making me do the it. The midway show? The midway show. The <laughs> halftime show. And I think they were like, well, we can't have that. Apple Music. This is a big deal. We were, we spent this probably that probably cost them. What's crazy is no $10 one blamed dollars. her. Like no, of course not. You have to start with this crazy note in the middle of a lot of people. You can barely hear yourself, and like immediately fixed it. She was totally fine. But the fact that they changed it bothered me more than the actual like. Oh, she's singing a tower note. Darn, you know. Now she's. If you are an actual full blown racist. Mm hmm. And at the same time, misogynist. Yeah. You probably hate Alicia Keys. You probably hate all women of color. That's what I'm saying. That's a double whammy for you. Yeah. I'm not saying you should ever have that, but I know people. I'm well. I'm sure there are people but that feel that way. You can say that about like Lizzo, <laughs> or like oh, yeah, Lizzo's a good example. Beyonce, That's true. or you know, okay, any <laughs> any like famous woman of color. Well, yes, but also yeah, that's a good point. 
Those people I don't like. I don't like them. You don't like racists? No, no, no. Yes. That's a, that's not a pretty, the black people. It's a pretty I like hard them. stance to take, Dad. That's a real rough one. No let, racist. Let me get up Race here on bad. the... Let me get on this soapbox and really say it out loud yeah. and proud. This is con- controversial, guys. Don't like racists. <laughs> not a fan. Not a big fan of racists. Um, oh, Apple paid a billion dollars to secure the halftime show for 10 years. Is that true? Damn. I mean, it's nothing to them. Their market caps. It's like a depressing number dollars. when, when like that money could help people, though. Yeah, they give a lot to charity. Not enough. Apple does more than anyone. And that then why space. is the world falling apart? <laughs> well, they could, everyone can do more. Yeah. I I wish more like butthole investor billionaires would give more. I feel of like their all these. Away. I keep seeing stuff where people are like, "Why are young people not interested in things like the Super Bowl or the Oscars or?" Um, like how a lot of celebrities are like, no one cares about them on social media anymore. Yeah. And the answer is the world is going to garbage. Why should we care about frivolous crap? Well, you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like this comes from an era where you could just care about, oh, we're going to care about celebrity lives because that's so important. But yeah. now it's like, I would like to know where my next paycheck is coming here's and the, I don't really care. Here's the problem. <laughs> this is not designed to diminish your take at all because yeah. I don't think you're wrong. But I do, every time... You or any one of your generation says the world is going to crap. Well, I I know. Hold on, that was a finish. strong statement. I I'm just saying. Yeah, I yeah. always dis, I always have this immediate feeling of disagreement, and I realize that I have I have an overabundance of optimism when it comes to the overall state of humanity. Yeah. I always have, but you're not enough in the moment of it. <laughs> it's mostly historical. Like you look at history, and it's For literally sure. a rising road with dips in it and peaks too. You know, positive peaks. I guess dip. my point is, but it's always on an upward trend, and everybody thinks it's burning. Yeah, but I I don't agree with it. it it's, there's problems for sure, the and when you're in the middle of it, it sucks. And when you're of your generation where you can't afford rent or house payments, yeah, even remotely because the, it's out of control, I get that it's different. My now. point is that if when I, I don't care about some celebrity showing me her entire shoe collection on TikTok, and have to she, oh I have to have a whole different closet for all my shoes when like. I could like fall down the stairs tomorrow and then not be able to afford to be alive anymore. That's true. So, you know, it's hard to care about that stuff. No, you you know what? Fair point. You've, you've pulled me around. Yeah. I don't like that crap either. Yeah. It's Celebrity not, stuff. It comes from like a very 90s I don't place. want oh, more than that. Like, Well, it comes from history, but like in the 90s, it was like the peak of like everyone cares about who's dating whom and what's going on. But this on is what America. So America has no has one mythology, the Old West. Right, all the other world, they've got thousand-year-old ideas of Poseidon would come up out of the water and squirt you in the eye. I would say Old West and um, uh, what's it called? Where all alcohol was banned? Oh, the uh, uh, mobs, uh, mobsters. No, yeah, but gangsters. Prohibition. Prohibition. I think is actually kind of modern mythology too. A little bit. So, I think gangster stuff in general can be like set something in the twenties or thirties, and you got a pretty good playground that isn't really super rooted in reality it doesn't have to be historic it's, it's, it's pull, like yeah. separate and like all most westerns yeah are like that which is why i love them and i love that we have it it's great because we don't have anything else you can't you go to ireland and they're like oh let me tell you the tales. tale of the four billion old uh, vicious snake man who came yeah. out and that's why drank I think, more beer than than o'malley up yeah, the road that's or why whatever. i think prohibition is one of those things because you always hear like oh yeah this guy he was a famous gangster who did this and then he got shot like there's a lot of that too right but my point is when we left the king and said f off yeah we got rid of royalty we now have royalty. Yeah. American royalty is celebrity. That's it's what it secret is. Secret royalty. Well, it, yes, but it is. It's what we've done. We've let we put them in this higher sphere. Yeah. Back in Shakespearean times, actors were considered douchebags and kind of the lowest scum of society. Nobody wanted to be an actor. You did it because you were desperate. That's well, all changed. You were real passionate. It's all changed. Yeah. So here we are. Here, Here we, we are, are, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to your life. <laughs> Welcome to Monday. I promise that in 100 years, it won't be as bad as you think, as long as we don't... All blow up. ...literally have it burned down just from climate change. Yeah. That's where we can screw it up. We could blow it all up. We could climate change the hell out of it. Yeah. Um, and no, ain't nobody want that. What else could happen? Asteroid? I don't know. A- as- asteroids. Yeah. Yeah. There's one coming here, but it won't be for... It's like another 13,000 years or something. Oh. That's, but we can see it. That's nice. We can see it. Yeah. We would have warned the people in the future. There is this feeling, you know, you always want to say, well, I want to I want to do work while I'm here to help the next generation have better. 
Yeah. And there is a there is a desire for people to do that. Yeah. But when I hear this meteor is coming in 13,000 years, I'm like, Pfft. what's the point? <laughs> what do you want me to do? It's all going to blow up anyway. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Also, I know we were just talking about your eyes, but I just saw the flash. Your eyes flash like cat yeah, eyes. Can you guys get this? Hold in on. like, you know, when like a cat's in the dark or like a dog's in the dark and it kind of flashes. That's what his eyes do. I Don't can't get it to do, do that. It. Sorry. But that was the worst. <laughs> my eyes do this thing where the 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 lenses that we talked about, they replaced my they're actual lenses. They're flat instead of rounded, right? They're flat, but they're also made of, there's a little titanium ring. Mm. Uh, I forget what the actual lens is made of, but then these little hooks on the side that connect it all. Hold it on. Because he stick is in there like a little ball and it goes shlink and like yeah. jumps out. So I kind of have like these metallic eyes and if the light hits it just right, it glints. It makes people think yeah. I'm an android. I'm you a might be a pod person. Yeah. Well, it's possible. I am kind of a pod person as it is. Oh, a podcast person. Get That's it. Stupid. Get it. Uh, <laughs> Matt from New York wrote in, says, I want to contribute to the continued streak of the Circus Peanuts chat. We're not done with Circus Peanuts. We'll never be done with Circus Peanuts. I have this vague memory of being told my grandfather used to eat Circus Peanuts like cereal in a bowl with milk and eating them by spoon. I'm going to throw up. Did your grandfather have teeth? I mean, Cause <laughs> if he did, they're not the best teeth Crumbly. ever. Says, I guess I have to cut. Uh, sorry. I guess he'd have to cut or pull him apart into smaller pieces. I would assume so. You're not going to just have giant peanut. right? Oh, in the yeah. Mouth that hole. does make sense. I was thinking the peanut in the mouth hole. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. Says, I guess. Uh, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, is this any worse than, I don't know, Captain Crunch or something? Or like uh, sugar wise. What's the one with the, with the, the marshmallows? marshmallows. Uh, Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. Yeah, I mean this is no worse than that. No worse than Lucky Charms. No. It sounds gross, but it's marshmallow. Basically. Oh, and he did the same thing with popcorn, like cereal in a bowl with milk. Ooh. Wouldn't popcorn just immediately get soggy? It doesn't have any like barrier or protection. It just like would get wet. I have a grand dislike for this concept. I don't want popcorn I in a bowl wanna with milk. I kind of want to try it to see. Boo. I want to know what happens. Well, thanks, Matt from New York, yeah. aka McFerrick. It's very in the chat. good information. It's great information. Let's read another one. Here's some more good information. What's the best way to request a doodle from T- uh, from Carter at TMS Vegas? Discord. Is that the way? Yes. Because we're just talking quick, sketchy doodles here. Yeah. We're not doing some big fancy. I still have not answered people. I apologize. I'm really awful at che- checking Discord, and I'm even worse at. Yeah. I'm the only one that Being checks a stuff person. around here. I'm the only one. Her and her mother are terrible. I turn at off my messages. notifications because I have way too many messages all the time. Yeah, and it makes me anxious. I I understand, and also you know, she's she's busy. I am so very busy. Just but so, just so you yes, understand, I will. It's Discord. Send a message. I won't forget you. I just might take a minute. <laughs> yeah, it might take a minute. I actually got to so. get on it because we're getting close. Yeah, we are, right? Yeah. It's closer to I'll try think. this week to get everyone. I'm sorry. Here's one from uh, Casey. Says, Carter and Scott, I was listening to episode five of the Monday show and got excited because Carter said one of her favorite animals are hyenas. Hmm. I've never heard anyone else say that their favorite animal is a hyena. So it just made me happy. Oh. I have three favorite f- three favorites as well. Hyenas, snow leopards, and wolves. Wolves. Thanks for the show, Casey. Oh, um, snow leopards are cool. They're all right. Uh, it was a it was a good version of Mac OS too for a long time. One of my favorites of that era. Really? Oh yeah, that's a thing. Snow Leopard, Mac OS Lo- Snow Leopard. What is that? What's well, like, they changed the cats? Vaguely familiar. They did. They started with um, Jaguar, was it? And then Panther. No, no Panther. Then Jaguar. Then Lion. <laughs> Lion may have been after Snow Leopard, but there was Leopard and Snow Leopard in a row. Oh, weird. Yeah, and they were. And I think that was because there weren't that big a change between the two, but oh, there like were some small, nice, like but it was good 1. stuff. 1.2. Something like that. <laughs> they like did that. cats for a long time and now they do California locations like. Oh yeah, they do. Sierra and. Yeah. Others. And others. <laughs> but I can't think of Other right things. Now. Was lion first? Tiger was first. That's right. Thanks, chat. Uh, here's one from Frost, Minnesota or Frostman. I don't know if it's actually from Frostman. Minnesota or not, but here's what, here's what this person says. Uh, the discussion of eating something as a kid ruining a food for you. It's funny you went into a discussion of eating fish because mine is fish. I tried to eat the tail of a fish, scales and everything at a family <gasps> barbecue, says Frost. That's gross. How you like them apples? <laughs> Would you eat a whole fish with just scales? The... Oh, well, I depends. know what we wanted like, to talk about. Like anchovies, what? I just remembered a thing we were going to say. What were we going to talk about? I said to Carter the other day, if you could... Is it the dog poop hold thing? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> 
If you ate a, <laughs> a plate of fresh Riley, 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 Re, what's her name? Ripley. Re, Ripley. Jeez. My dog Ripley. Ripley poop on a plate. She's a big Weimaraner dog. Okay? Yeah. It's a big loafy dump. Yeah. If big you, loafy dump. If you had to heat a hot plate of that only one time. Hot like microwaved or like no like fresh out, out of her booty right out her booty okay you had to eat that and that guaranteed that you would never have a disease or an illness or a sickness or any ailment of any kind yeah. for the rest of your life and that you would live well into your hundred hundred and ten range yeah because after that you don't want to be around anyway yeah. I mean unless they come up with something crazy to slow down aging we don't want, nobody wants this. sure so. If I you said do no. that, you said no. No. Okay. So Carter says not, if that even that if it reason. guaranteed her, and I'm like, well, all right, you're in your twenties. It seems like this is a good deal. You do it now, and you have this you have long, long straight yeah. a whole life of not ever having any illness, severe. Like it sounds mild. nice. It does. Until you gotta I don't know, eat maybe that plate. I, would, I don't know. But then I Oof. said, Would you eat that same plate if Ripley would live as long as you? And, and yes. you without hesitation yeah. said, Yep. Yeah. I'd do it right now. Because it's different. Living forever is like, not living forever, living a really long time is like, okay, a lot's going to happen. But living as long, like having your dog be there with you is different. I don't know. Yeah, that's a fair point. There's something about it that I'm like, yeah, I'd do that for Ripley, but not for me. Um, oh, I can't show you this because I don't have this screen up. I guess I could do it real quick. You know how people have been sending us pictures of their pets? Um, I have one here. And this is a little sad. Nutter passed away in his sleep on St. Patrick's Day. He was Aww. 14 years old. Look at Baby. this cute. Look at this cute kitty. Why won't this work? I don't know what's go. wrong with your TV. It's not. It's not a TV. What's wrong with your television? Okay. Tele- t- uh, the the telly. Do you see it? Oh baby. Oh, I know. Sweet puppy. Although puppy. it looks like sweet kitty. A, looks like a head's cat mounted on a stick. Isn't that weird? It's got that great mane like like my cat has. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. Nutter passed away. How mm. old? Fourteen. Rest in Fourteen peace, is Nutter. old. Jeez. That is old. Wow, that's a long time. That's Ambassador Domo who sent that in. Thank you for Aww. sharing that. Sad, though. I uh, also got to want to hear about their dog that is a Ripley doppelganger. Oh, show me. Let me delete this one first so that we don't have to have that up. All right, the Monday show, Ripley doppelganger. Uh, Josh says, Dear Carter and Scott, this is actually an email. Oh. Ever since I first saw a picture of Ripley, I thought, dang, that looks like our dog Kona. Kona. To prove it, here is Kona, a four-year-old silver Labrador. She is always getting mistaken for Ryan Reiner, and uh, sorry, and I take her on when I take her on a walk. Loving the show, been a long-time listener of Scott since the Infendo days. Oh wow, that was a while back. Uh, look at this, this is crazy. Other than coloration, Padlova. Why isn't it working? I didn't know. Did you say Pavlova? Put it over. Um, Pavlova. We had Pad- Pavlova this week. Like the cake. There it is. Oh, it does look like Rip. Here, chat. Oh my gosh. I know, right? Whoops. That's yeah. Ripley's a, a Weimaraner and a lab mix. Yeah. So maybe she's like, that's pretty close. It's pretty dang close. There's another one here. Oh, look at, oh, look at this one. For me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want this dog. It looks like if Ripley had slightly longer hair. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Just slightly, though. Oh, it's I, I've, I have, as much as I tease Carter about her dog, I've fallen in love with this kind of dog. I don't, I kind of, this is the kind of dog I just want forever. Yeah. We didn't have, growing up, we didn't have a lot of big dogs. Yeah. And so when I finally was like, I want my own dog, I was like, I want a big dog. I don't care what big it is. Dog. I just want a big dog. Uh, so we went to the shelter and we just went. You also got a little bit of uh, reinforcement from Blake in New York City. All right. New York City. New York City. Get a rope. Do you know what I'm quoting? You're quoting. You're quoting. Uh, what's his name from? Uh, it's always wet in the shadows. Matt Berry. Matt Berry, <laughs> who's in, who plays the robot in the new uh, Fallout show. Really? <gasps> oh that, my gosh! I want to watch it, that and new, now I want to watch it more. Have you seen the trailer? Because the trailer's got his no. voice in it. You should watch it. Anyway, listening to the Monday show right now, couldn't agree more with Carter regarding the live action Airbender. Cheers, Blake. Thank you. A lot of people gave you crap. I know. A lot of people in my life have given me crap, and it's crazy. It is a little bit crazy. Uh, here's another one that says the same. For the Monday show, I completely agree with Carter on Avatar. Very subpar acting, cringy, and completely butchering the story. Super disappointing. The original is one of my favorite shows of all time, and I was hoping it would redeem itself, but it unfortunately uh, did not, and will go down with its other live-action counterpart, Tanner. Uh 
Boy, it's not as bad as that. Though. I will say it's not as bad as the movie. Because that movie's however was a woofer, dude. It's pretty rough. That's I need so you to bad. watch. I need you to watch the first episode, and I need you to tell me what you think because I feel like you don't understand. <laughs> I need you to know. Should I do it? I have been really. Episode. I'm really been put off by it though, because of you. Just one episode. I just not. I don't know. I could watch. It's like forty other minutes. Things. All right. You've I'll watched worse things for your shows. Oh, of course. Watch but, one for this so show. So watch it for the show, you're yeah. saying? Oh, well, when's our stream, by the way? Oh, yeah. We got a this, uh, maybe tomorrow, right? We're trying you to said? figure it out. Yeah, we We're still trying. It's been, it's I think been a we crazy march. You know what I think we should do? Mm. I have an idea. Mm. We should watch Samurai Jack with the community. I love that idea. You want to do that? that show. We could do it. I'll get really annoying on it, though. Oh, because you won't <laughs> shut up. Because I love it. <laughs> I have so many things about it. Uh, one final email regarding, uh, let's see. I'm not sure what this is regarding. Let's just read it. This is from Mar- Marija. How would you say that name? M-A-R-I-J-A-H. Mar- Marija. Maybe Maria. Maria? Because the J is silent? Maybe. Hmm. Anyway, good morning. Loving the new show. And I hope my relationship with my 18-year-old son stays as strong as the relationship between you two. When we're not on the air, we fight like cats and dogs. Oh, yeah. Murder is involved. Oh, it's so bad. Knives. Yeah. Knives It's are like out. John Wick in our house. It is like John Wick. Double tap. <laughs> anyway, Carter's comments on men and the red carpet reminded me of the Suits episode of the podcast Articles of Interest. Uh, it really gets into the evolution of men's styles and how the suit was originally revolutionary and now... It's staid and boring, and how some hmm. men struggle to find individual expression of style in their suits. Hope you enjoy, and thanks for the wonderful show. He sent us a link as well. Oh, cool. Uh, I actually think yeah. um, suits are funny because th- I think my problem with the boring suits at the Oscars, mm. all the men wearing the exact same thing, mm. is I've seen really cool suits. And mm. even they're just like dress suits, but they're cool. Like you should look up David Tennant suit or something like that david Tennant's suit i'm doing it now he has this rad suit on that's just a suit but it's like so cool and decorated and i'm just like just a little bit extra d- goes a long way Do you are know you what I mean? talking about all these here um uh, I mean, it's no. a lot of suits that's all that's all david Tennant in a suit oh he did an award show and i can't remember but he wore this like cool gold suit uh, did I tell you BAFTA look? Is yeah, BAFTA. Say? That's what it is. This look at thing? It. Ooh, yeah, I like it. Looks it's got like, like pictures on it. My grandma has a couch like that. Yeah, but like, my point is, there is cool suits. Wear a cool suit. I do like that. I'd wear that. Yeah, look at that. It's got like that, snakes He's got a red it. watch. Look it almost it. looks like tattoos. Yeah, I like it. Right? Yep. And that's all it takes. It's not even that much more. It doesn't, it's not like an uncomfortable fit. It's just... A little extra. Is he yeah. wearing his pin in that one? Uh, I don't see it. He's got a lapel mic. What's the pin for? Um, he has a non-binary kid, so oh. he always wears like a little pin rainbow, oh, rainbow that's pin, nice. which is that's really great. cute. I don't see it. Maybe it clashed too much. <laughs> it might just be on the other side or something. But I think that watch is a swatch. Swatch. And I love swatches. You love a swatch. Oh. When I was a teenager, I show you the biggest status symbol you could get was a swatch. I have these really cool watches. They're called Project Project watches. Tell me more. And they're really cool. Hold on, I'll look them up. And project they, watches. One of my favorite watches. Projects, projects with an S. Watches. Uh oh oh okay. I, I it. love this trend of like oh look at these of yeah. watches becoming art pieces almost and decoration instead of um actual these. time pieces because like everyone has a phone, everyone has a way to tell the time really quickly, and like no one's looking at their watch to tell the time anymore. So like, why not make it really cool? These are cool. Right? I'd wear one of these. These are very swatch like. Yeah, but like a little bit. They they also work with artists. Like like specific artists will make their own watch. So like that one that you see, the sales specials one. Yeah. An artist designed that. And is there a way to tell the time? I mean, technically it is moving around. Like they still tick and move like a clock, yeah. but it's just hard to tell. They also have just boring ones like that. Boring lame watches. <laughs> look, look, at, cool. look at those. Those that are cool, so dude. Neat. Yeah, I love that. I love the all three oh. of those. Yeah, they're really cool. All right, I have one that has a big eyeball and like the little eyelashes tick around, and it's really cool. That's awesome. I, I I'd heard of this somehow, but I didn't remember what the name Probably was. Probably through me. It might have been through you. Because I also do you see the one on the top this of that? Here? Yeah, I have that one. It's like an egg and it's like a breakfast, but the the tickers are um fork. The hands are a fork and knife or a fork and spoon or something. So that's an egg, and what's this? A pancake? 
Oh, I don't remember. <sighs> These are things you don't eat. Oh, you eat eggs. I do eat eggs. Are eggs vegetarian? Yes, depending on who oh, you talk they're to. They're not, are they? Well, I mean, they're, they're, they're an embryos. animal product, but they're not necessarily well, not ve- an embryo. I figure not vegan, sure. But, no, but, they're um, vegetarian as long as they're not fertilized. Huh, that's interesting. Scott, design your own watch, says chat. Should I? Should I, get, should yeah. I do that? <gasps> Let's design watches. You really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so into this. I don't know why, but I, lately I've been obsessed with watches as I art. I don't know why you are either. It's crazy. I think it's super neat. Uh, if anyone's from Project Watches, uh, you should reach out to me. <laughs> here's 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 one we just got on the text line. Does Carter ever respond or interact with people on no. Discord? <laughs> oh, yeah, on Discord. Sorry, I thought you just meant in general. Um, I'm trying. I'm sorry. <laughs> but also, if you're a dude or something, it's maybe a little weird. I don't what know. What do you mean? Is it weird if a dude reaches out? I don't know what you want or not want. Just don't send like anything if some weird. Cre- if a creepy guy... Well, don't be creepy. I'm not saying anyone here is creepy. I'm just saying, how how would you... How, what what would make your your uh, um, your alarm go off? Let's let me let me do a fake scenario where I send you a DM and I'm just <laughs> red some dude. flag. So I go, <laughs> but this is only text, so it's hard to get tone out. Yeah, of tone's it. hard. But if I said like, "Hey, <laughs> I like." I like your car. I like your cartoons. I sure wish you could drive me a cartoon. Like, see, it, it only works if you hear me. Yeah, it doesn't really work if. But you But if you said, down. "I really like your cartoons. I'd love for you to draw me one." That isn't creepy. Yeah, I'd say, "Cool, here's my prices," <laughs> or probably not because I'm not taking commissions right now. Yeah. No one messaged me about commissions. <laughs> uh, Lucky Phil says uh, our Australian correspondent on the street says oh. many vegans object to eggs because any male born chicks are destroyed via a crusher or shredder. It's pretty grim. He yeah, says. Yeah, I don't like the the egg industry is really gross. Is that true? You'd crush them or shred them? Well, is that to make other? Does that is that to make shredded chicken and, and uh, chicken products? Maybe it's like cows. How the male cows will get eventually slaughtered, yeah. But the females get because they have milk and have babies and all that stuff. It's all gross. I love a steak. I agree. I honestly, the perfect situation is I would have my own chickens and I would get <laughs> eggs from them. We thought about doing that here, but I don't think you can do it here. No, we don't H- have room. HOA is weird. One about day, how small you have to. I keep want the... chickens and I want ducks. I, f- I swear they said, oh, uh, you can have chickens, but it has to be this far from yeah. any fence or house, knowing that no one's got that space out Because they here. make it tiny. Because it's little. Little. It's wee. It's wee. All right. How about this one? <laughs> uh, f- this might be our final one. Hi, my name is Tendo Pain. Tendo Pain. I love that name. That's good. Uh, my regular name is Omar. I love the Monday show. The daughter-father banter makes me smile. Well, good. <laughs> I, too, have a daughter, and I'm excited as she grows and talks to me. My question is this. Would you, uh, too, do more duo plays, but in but in live service games like Helldivers, WoW, etc.? Maybe that's what we do for our stream. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Maybe we play Helldivers or something. I still need to play Helldivers. Do you have Helldivers? I don't, You should but get I Helldivers. Can. That game is really good. Do you have any codes? You know what? I would play. <laughs> I would love to play with you. I'm, I don't like playing with... So I have some friends that are super hardcore and mm-hmm. they're way higher than me and yeah. it makes me feel stupid. That's how I, oh my gosh. So I then people, I'm like, well, where are my yeah. friends that can be low level with me? And I don't really have any. Plus, if I want to play with randos, they're unpredictable and lame sometimes. So yeah, we should play that. We should play that. I think we should play, Um, what's the one that it's like a scary one? Uh, Larry and Jerry go get scary at Harry's. I have no idea. We should make a game called that. It's <laughs> <laughs> a great idea. What was it though? Uh... That ain't um, it. That's not it. Lethal Company. Oh, oh, we can play. I have that. We can play Lethal Company. I have that. Let's play that tomorrow. Let's play it. Yay. All right. We're doing our We stream. figured it out. Okay. That's for out. patrons. And we need to finish Takes Two. It Takes Two. Yeah. But we'll do that. It Takes Two will be public. That's public. But the the other streams will be patrons only. Or should we stream them to everyone and then make the archives available to the patron? I don't know. I thought we were doing like a stream for the patron. Patreon every that month. That is what it says, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> I always mix all my It's the first up. month. We're figuring it out. Um, all right. I think that's it for messages. And that's about it for the show. Is there anything else that we didn't oh, talk wow. about? That, that went you... by so quickly. It does go by quickly. I didn't even get into uh, uh, one thing I was going to ask you, and I don't remember what it was. <laughs> <laughs> we got to start writing stuff down. Yeah, write We're stuff both a down mess. during the week. Write stuff down. Be more whatever. Be more present. And you're going to be here tomorrow because you work here tomorrow. You're working from home. Correct. Um, 
yeah, we'll see. I can't remember what it was. I'll try to remember, and if I can remember, I'll write it down, and we'll talk about it next episode. But do not stop or slow down your rate of texts and or voicemails. Oh, did I get a voicemail and forget to play it? Ask us anything. (laughs) Sorry, that was not supposed to (laughs) play. so scary. (laughs) (laughs) This is cool, though. This is the remix one. No, I know, but... That's really good. Uh, anyway. You said you were playing a voicemail, and then that played, and it scared the hell out of me. I didn't know I had. Imagine if the voicemail up. was just like. <laughs> uh, Sandakar, isn't it? Icor, not Sanduar, Sandakar Warriors. Anyway, uh, okay. See Mondays. Here it is. Oh, we did have. Did we play it? Hold on. I don't know if we do. Okay. Nope, we don't. Okay. We just have you Never doing mind this. Then. <laughs> We just have you laughing. <laughs> Do you like that? I kicked the camera. <laughs> That's fine. It only wobbled a little bit. Wambled. You could be our background laughter. So anytime I tell a bad joke, like, um, what did the pirate or the pirate walked into a bar? I already laugh at your bad jokes. Okay, I'll give you. Well, let me give you a bad one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. We were going to talk about Berserker. Oh no, can we're not we talking please? about it. No, you can talk about it. How about Narcotis? We can talk about Narcotis. I'm fine with Narcotis. All right. Next week, we'll tell you the Narcotis story. We're not going to remember. No, I'm writing it down. Write it down. Next Show notes. W- next week, Narcotis. Narcotis is a fun story. Yeah. It's Don't tell stupid. anyone what it is yet. I'm not. Okay. We'll talk about, we'll talk about it. I'm so dumb. Uh, that is it for us. Thank you all for listening. That'll take... Uh, oh, uh, you know what? Quick thanks to some some patrons. Oh, yeah. We, we got, got some new folks. Name the patrons. We got uh, Thomas Maddock. We got John Howell. We got... Gal- Galantino Israel? Good Lord. That's a hell Is that of a, a name. handsome freaking put him on your sexy book cover? Is that a cover? real name? I don't know, but I'd love it. it Galantino Israel. It is Israel. very like, like smut book. Oh, yeah. Name. Galantino walked into the, the, the foyer. Not the foyer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, patreon.com slash the morning. <laughs> Did it again. The Monday Patreon. Show. Patreon.com slash The Monday Show. Got it. The Monday Show slash The Monday Show. All right, everybody. And our website is frogpants.com slash Monday. The podcast is in its all archive beauty over there. And uh, video version of it goes up as well. But if you're a patron, you get extra bits, uh, extra bits including some pre-show. You get uncut video. And you get uh, these bonuses like streams. And we're talking about doing some art once a month and all this other stuff. Yes. So we have cool ideas. Sign up today. That's patreon.com slash the Monday show. The Monday show. Thanks everybody for listening. Carter, anything else before we go? Uh uh no. <laughs> Good deal. Bye everybody. <laughs>